Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Decoration Day. That's right, we're back here with the Satisfactory House. <laughs> so, yeah, today I plan on making decorations to this beautiful place. Let's see if I can give it a better view. Hold on. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, no. Dude, I'm... Uh, I'm so embarrassed. I apologize. Uh, we changed the uh, ceiling to asphalt. I feel like it just it just fits better. But this is the house, and today I'm gonna go through and decorate and add the wonderful fun stuff. So if you're excited for that, don't forget to give it a like. Comment down in there what you'd like to see in the house. Or what you want me to work on next and I will read and answer every single one of them because I'm nuts now in terms of the house um, well we have to figure out how to make some amazing designs on here and let's face it satisfactory doesn't really have uh, what you call it furniture <laughs> but that doesn't mean that it's not impossible there are a few things that we can utilize, which I already have, like the MAM, which is uh, really good with the lighting and everything like that, as well as the equipment workshop. I got this in the corner, and then it even lets me go in here and have these wonderful craft benches in here, which I think is really cool. It's like my own little like work area. But that being said, uh, we need to make furniture, and I've made plenty of furniture before. But my biggest inspiration for furniture has always been, and will always be, probably, say hello to Kaya Sebastian, a person on Reddit who has some amazing designs. And, uh, I think it's a she, uh, has made, uh, wait, what did she call this? Hold on. Sign Kia. <laughs> Apparently, she's figured out a bunch of different ways to utilize signs to make different stuff. So she's got a fridge, a microwave, so this is going to look great for a kitchen. Uh, different angles on it. The, the fixed -miss bread box, I guess. W whatever that could be. A sink, so that's really cool. So we can utilize this. Uh, laundry room. So a washer and dryer. Oh, that is so cool. I'm curious how she did some of this stuff because I'm going to try to recreate it. And, uh, yeah. Oh, wait, I didn't even know that's a pattern. Okay, that'll be interesting. Yeah, she does some amazing work. Uh, go check her out. I will put a link in the description to this post so you can all check it out and see what's going on. I oh, that's supposed to be a toilet. I get it. All right, so with that on my second monitor, let us begin. First things first, lighting. Lighting in here is trash, trash. So we got to figure out all the different lighting aspects that we want to use. And to do this, I am going to have to go to my third scroll wheel. And let's go to architecture. So we'll put painted beams those are going to be very useful organization will do signs where's the one by one so we'll do that as number three now normally street signs are pretty much the go-to but because this thing is horrible let's press h and yeah, i really want this sticking out of the build that kind of looks you know garbage so we don't want that so, we're going to have to use signs as lights. So, for example, say hello to this one right here, okay? So, what we can do is... Aww. Okay, so what we can do is take this as a 1 meter. Attach it to there. Then we can get this and we can have it go... Right here. And then we'll have this go here. And we will rotate it. And this gives us a good idea of the sizing. As you can see, it's a three meter one. Get that. And then we'll go over to three meter. So the only problem 
is getting the correct sizing. There we go. And then we just take the layout, go to this one, delete the background, change the background color to a white, a mission three, and there we go. Man, I miss flying. But I'm definitely not modding the hell out of this thing. So, yeah. And here's the thing, too. You can make a bunch of these into blueprints if you want. But usually when making a bunch of this stuff, it all depends on like what your style is. So sometimes even though you can blueprint it, it a lot of things end up being custom. Perfect. So when we build the grill out here, that will look great. And then maybe. All right. I think I've come up with a decent amount of lamps. Um. Uh, so the question is now, where do I put them? <laughs> All right. Let me let me let me try some out. Okay. Let's see. So I have made a couple different ones. Um, let's do my diamond spiral lamp right here. Check this one out. Ooh, I like that one. Um, uh, let's see. What about the diamond lamp? Oh, that's glorious. Those look so cool. You know what? Let's get rid of this one. No, 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 no. Let's get rid of this one. And then we're going to put the taller ones on each one of these. So one out there. And then you're going to go right here. The diamond lamp. We're going to kind of put that. You know what? Let's get rid of this and this one and then we're going to grab the diamond lamp because those will be like fitting perfectly underneath here oh bright i mean see if you look at it it's really the lighting of the day that kind of like makes everything bright enough and then we got the master bedroom. I'm going to probably have to put some more desk lamps up. That's probably going to have to light things up. Okay, but on to the next thing. So seeing as this is my main area, my foyer, if you will, did I bring coupons with me? Okay, I did bring the coupons with me. So this is my main area. So, oh, you know what? So I have all these. What do I have? five of them okay so did i get this is gonna be a, a real waste of material but we're gonna take two well yeah actually i could probably just do one and one okay so let's sit on the corner aim to the other corner go into my inventory take that drop that out and then drop this and drop I'm gonna drop the other one. Nope. I missed it. I want to keep the front of this kind of clean. Yeah. Okay, and now this four area. Um, is it big enough to fit an actual statue? So if we come over here. All, hello, fix it. Welcome back. Thank you. All right, all right, all right. So, hello, adequate pioneer statue. Our first statue of the playthrough. Congratulations on purchasing this statue. It is a truly spectacular and one-off event. One if you event. believe you have heard this message before, please examine yourself for signs of temporal anomalies. Uh, I'm curious if we actually buy another one, would it go? But I don't need another one right now. And then with we'll press tab, go in here, put this in our hand slot. And then if I put this here. Okay. Not bad. 
but I think I would rather have it aimed at the window. So this will be my... So basically right along here, this will be all where I have the statues. <gasps> Which, you know what I can do? Let's get rid of the flooring for these. We're going to take this and we're going to put the one meter one. Zoop this across. Or do I want that the other way? I want that the other way. Yes. Zoop this across. And then this one will be zooped over here. And then we'll go back to color. Uh, I edit my swatch and I put 10 down here for whatever the hell that is down there. And what it does is it makes it even brighter. And then we're going to go to material. And is it metal? Do I want metal or do I want concrete or... Ooh, asphalt. There we go. Now it looks like a carpet that's over there. <laughs> okay, what goes into a living room or foyer? <gasps> oh, I could put stuff against the wall. Oh my god. This is going to be like a trophy room. All right, let me mess around with this and come up with some stuff. All right. I got something. <laughs> Construct, automate, explore, and exploit. Uh, yeah, some little motivational posters. A uh, place for everybody to hang their jacket, if this was Minecraft. Uh, little containers for the entranceway. Um, I also added one light out here in the entranceway. I don't know why. I feel like it was just meant to be. Uh, on the right here, we have a few little trinkets on the table. Um, one thing I did learn is with the lights, if I have them the way I have them, uh, they kind of just, you know, suck. <laughs> um, the other option is, well, what if I did this? Hold on. So like a white table kind of like makes it a little bit better, but you know, overall, I mean, all I can do do something like this, but like once you like don't see it in your peripheral, it just turns off. So that's fun. All right. I have room for all my trophies. So all my trophies are going to go here. So we got the first trophy here and then a couple of the other ones. And then this over here. Oh, this was cool. So I put the what is it? Power shard here. This one's going to be a somber sloop. Sorry, somber sloop. They're sad. <laughs> that's gonna go on there this one i thought was perfect with the kind of bending effect that it does just to go on there because it kind of looks like it fits perfectly <laughs> and then a little bit of light on top so it actually shines uh something on this wall i kind of want to make more wall designs but i can't think of anything good so if anybody has a reference or something good let me know but that's the main entrance we have this on the bottom this is going to be like our carpeting that we walk on and i put a few uh uh, what do you want to call them? I put a few signs over here with some glossiness on it. So it reflects all the cool stuff as you... Ooh, as you look away. See, this is one thing. Mods have become available. And I was like, I could unlock the mods and always have daytime. But then you ruin all the cool stuff like that. Like the day and night cycle. It's not going to be the best for videos. But it does look cool. Alright, on to the next room. Dude. The question's got to be, like, if somebody came over and this was, like, really a house, they'd have to be like, dude, how'd you get that in your house? <laughs> All right, so the TV's going to be here, and we're going to put, like, uh, probably a couch over here. All right, so I can sit down. Um, I could turn this area right here into a office. So this will be, like, my desk. Um... This can stay open. Maybe something here on the wall, like a little table. Um, I'm thinking the sunroom kind of just stays open. What? I can't think of what would go here other than like a, a giant couch or something where you can just look outside. Unless you want to put, let's go small build. Unless you want to put something like we're gonna go TV, TV, TV. 
And then we build a couch around this, and then that's the perfect sunroom right there. Oh, wait, I'd have to move it over, but whatever. All right, we've made some progress. I have a big, huge, comfy couch. You know, with a little uh, decoration. Got the nice widescreen TV. Granted, I didn't go for the huge one, but I don't think we need it. Uh, in terms of the sunroom, oh man. So this is going to be my chair. <laughs> this is where we're going to leave my character just so they can just constantly be looking out. Uh, we went with the table. Uh, we even got the fancy little keyboard. <laughs> Three monitors because we're a gamer and a little table light. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to think that this is like a trash can because I can't think of anything else. And then this is this could be my computer. I don't know. I don't know. I just put it over there. Look cool. Oh, and then in here we have the washer and dryer. Uh, yeah. So this is where I can do my laundry. Fancy. And then I made a dining area. Ooh, I know, right? <laughs> nice big chairs and everything. Oh. And then while I was doing this, I started organizing some blueprints. So I have one for lights, one for furniture, all the fuel stuff is in here. And then, of course, the undefined stuff just in there. Uh, I did move the doorway so I could get my dining room in here. So it's a little bit out and played with the uh, movement a little bit. And yeah, now we can work out here, but I think it's time for kitchen. Uh, oh, and I did make these a little bit out so you can just basically put them on there H to hold hold control and move them out just one smidgen and then they kind of just line up there if you ever want them to look a little bit uh, thicker. Yeah, so we got that going out there. So if I turn the light off, you can see. Yep, that's looking pretty good. We got the Passover or whatever the hell it's called. And now we can start working on the kitchen. <laughs> there is a lot of stuff to do in this, and it's it's so hard to like showcase every little thing just for how long it takes to make some of this stuff, especially if you don't know what you're doing. Because most of the time I'm just playing around with some new designs and everything like that. So, yes, back on it. Time to get to work. I need to make my kitchen a kitchen. And voila, I have a kitchen. Um, I'm assuming, not assuming, I'm thinking my headcanon is this is just a giant TV in there. Because why not? We got ourselves a shelf, a fridge, uh, there's a portable or a portrait sign in this. Um, this is a pain in the butt, by the way, <laughs> trying to get everything in the right spot. Uh, we got a beautiful table, countertops, pictures of all the different things. Uh, under lighting, upper cabinets. Oh, the grill. Yes, if you like to grill, this is, uh, this is the grill for you. Even got the fans underneath and everything. <laughs> oh, but yes, the kitchen is all set and it is looking good. By the way, I hate these doors. I set them to, I set them to stay open because I like the doorway, but it doesn't stay open. I don't know what it is. But that takes care of the first floor. And... Oh, it's taking so long, but it's looking so good. Oh, and I've... I found a way to make a little painting. Because, you know, I'm drawing chaos, so obviously I have a little painting going. So, yeah, everything is going great. It's looking phenomenal. All right, it's time to start working on the outside right here. And for this, of course, I'm going to need an amazing grill. Now, if you've seen my last video, well, uh, not really the last video, but one of the videos I had back then, I show you how I can actually build a, uh, whatchamacallit. Oh, a grill. That's what it is. Sorry, my mind just went blank there for a second. That kind of sucks. So, yeah, I'm going to go build a grill over here. I wonder if I should build like a bigger, fancier grill or I should just leave it regular. All right, was this the right way? Oh, I wish there was like with the ability to rotate these. I wish there was a way that it would orientate so it can show you which way. And then I got to build a fridge out here and 
fire pit. Ooh, this is going to look good. Give me a minute and let me get all this underway. Welcome back. I did a thing. So I was in the middle of building out here and I'll get to that in a second. But I sort of, uh, well, I downloaded it some mods. One mod to be precise. I downloaded the mod that allows me to have daylight all the time. Yeah. Yeah, and I did this for a specific reason. Even though I changed the lighting to kind of like see what it would look like if it was here, we'll go into there. So if you go into options and you go into video and you scroll all the way down and you have all the ultra settings because you got this high end computer, you can change your global illumination to off. Confirm. Yeah. And now you can actually see what everything looks like. That's great. That's wonderful. But here's a caveat to that. I don't get to see all the cool coloring effects like before. If I look in here, we turn it back on and you'll get to see the difference. And here's the thing. I don't mind the darkness. I was born in the darkness. That to me looks gorgeous. Looks beautiful. But then you're recording a video and you look at one of these bright lights and it just kind of makes everything just kind of go down. But whatever. Anywho. So, yeah. So, I've downloaded some mods and now... Well, I can't fly. Because they don't have pack utility. <laughs> But also because I didn't want it. I just want the ability to have sunshine and lollipops. Anyway, check out this. I got the grill. It's all nice and shiny. It's beautiful. Uh, we got our garbage can, recycle bin, our hot water heater, whatnot. Uh, here's the bar. I wish I could just like lift this up and go back here, but I can't. But I can jump over. <laughs> we have a sink. And... I need diamonds. If I get some diamonds, I'm just going to chuck them in here. So it looks like an ice holder machine. <laughs> uh, we got stuff on tap. Uh, what, what, what you looking for? What, what kind of tap you want? Oh, uh, by the way, I made a blueprint for this tapper machine. And all it is is just one upside down sign. But it is coming so handy for different things. It's not even funny. Uh, we got the fridges like before. And then check this out. Oh, this is good. I love this. I have a <laughs> construction fence built in here because this is where I'm going to put all my bottles. But I don't have bottles. So it's just for decoration. But it's like a fake decor. Oh, what, man, I missed the side. Anywho. But yeah, it's just for decoration. And then I put some beams up on here for a little strut. I got my beautiful little uh, stools. Those are taken care of. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then, of course, I use the thing. <laughs> I use the tapper to make my stools. It is what it is. Uh, we got the fire pit where I don't know. Is metal a good option for these? I don't know. Um, we have a little bench over here. We could sit down, look off into the distance and then we get down here. Oh, this was so much fun. This was a pain in the butt, but I think it came out amazing. It's a nice little like swing set kind of thing. Now, granted, you're going to have to swing with like a couple people or by yourself if you're one big fat guy. Whoa. Mysterious chain. Wait, can I get it? There we go. That just, sorry, that was just too distracting. Anywho, so this is the fat guy swing. And then we come over here. And then we have these little overhangs, which are perfect for sunbathing. <laughs> oh, and this, this is great. So this is the lookout tower. As you can see, it goes a little bit deep into the ground, but oh, it's perfect. I can be a little lifeguard. <laughs> hey, hey kids, don't get too close to that waterfall. Uh, we've lost three this month. Anywho, so yeah, so that's the outside. It is looking gorgeous. Whoop. Yep. All right. Now we get to work in the inside. Let's go upstairs. Second floor. All right. I have no clue what to put out here, but the first step is going to be the bathroom. And to do this, I want to do. Let's see. Is it one meter? Yeah, one meter. All right. So H to hold. Can I move this? Yeah. Controls and there we go. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to place these on the ground. And we're going to cover this whole entire ground in these and make tiles. Now you could do, you could do the 0.5, but fudge that. Here's what I'm thinking. So if we get a toilet in between these little pillar right here, maybe a sink against this wall or this wall, and then we'll turn this area into like a shower. I think that'll make it really good. All right. Give me some time to get this underway. Shouldn't be too hard, right? Right. Are you ready? The door is over here and it leads to a, a hallway. I didn't know what to put in here. This was my hallway. I didn't or not hallway closet. This is like just a random closet. I didn't know what to put in there, but the bathroom is looking insane. We got the blue mood lighting sink. Ooh, nice and shiny. We got the mirror, okay, and then uh, we just got a little toilet, and then the the shower. I <laughs> I just use a little signs and some signs and some signs, and then yeah, there's the drain. Oh, uh, and then I oh, what is it called? I use the tarp construction fence to basically have like kind of looks like a little like privacy door or you could just kind of close it but oh yeah this is oh you know what i could have done so we'll put h to hold and then we'll put this right here and then we'll put this right here Oh, I could have done that and then it would have looked like I actually had like a sliding door. Oh, but then I got to mess with the top over here. You know what? For right now, I'm going to delete that and I'll worry about that later. By the way, I really wish there was these one meter glass ones. Oh, that would really help with designing because this is sticking out of the roof. And now I got to figure out what I want to do with that. But anyway, the bathroom's done. It's completed. It looks good. These tiles, we went with a gray upon gray upon white. And then this one is a gray upon gray upon black. And this gives us some nice, beautiful tiles. Now, you could change up these colors or whatnot. Put extra signs on the walls, that kind of stuff. Like, let's say you wanted, like, full-blown mirror or whatnot. So when you're taking a poop, you actually see it. Uh, all that wonderful stuff, but yeah, that is done. We are almost done with this build. We have just one major room to go, and that is the grand. What do you want to call this place? Master bedroom. Oh, oh, and master bathroom, because this is going to be a bathroom. Now, granted, I'm going to do uh, the tiling on the floor here, too. But what I'm thinking is, what if I uh, go into foundations, I scroll all the way down. We're going to grab the one meter one. I'm going to put that here. That one here. That one here. And then I'm going to put a sign in the middle right here. And then this will be like a, like a pool kind of thing. Jacuzzi. Oh, and now because they put in, um, uh, was it stairs? Ooh. Oh, you know what? The two meters one looked good. So that'll be great. Um, I wonder if we can get a shower in here too. Might be a little bit too much. And then for this area over here, let's see. Uh, you know what? Like somewhere right here. What we can do is go into architecture, grab a frame floor. This H to hold. Let's move it out. One, two. Get rid of that. Go back in. Uh, go into foundation. Scroll all the way down. And then default, default. And then, okay, make sure the material is the right one. And make sure. We're doing some carbon steel like this. And then this will be like, this will be the bed, but it'll be like rounded. 
And then what I can do is I can grab eight by four. Something like this, H to hold. And that'll be like the, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, this will be like a blanket and then we'll make pillows and all that kind of stuff. Oh, but I don't know if I have enough room to put like a TV right here. Maybe over here or something or oh, maybe a dresser. I'll figure it out. It'll be fun. It'll be fun. All right. All right. Working on the next room. Let's go. Yep. All right. We are finally complete. Isn't that great? Welcome back. And here's the hub. 118 days uh, since last incident and then you spawn in and my god what a breathtaking view you wouldn't even know the house is over here but maybe i should make like a little path that would be kind of cool because if you walk down and go over you see the house now i went over everything and i tried to see if there's anything left to change so this will be the final walkthrough uh, that might be an issue. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Let me know in the comment section if you see anything that you think needs to be changed after this final walkthrough. So we have the light out here. Okay. And then we got some beautiful little tree plants. Uh, once I get the, um, steel in a bowl or whatever, aluminum bowl, whatever, I'm going to replace that. And then we come in here. And then we have all the containers. We have the place for uh, hanging up your jacket. We have a table with a boom box and all the little trinkets on it. This is where I'm going to place all my beautiful statues. And then I need a summer sloop for this little section right here. I do need to change up and build some more uh, cool things with signs on the wall. Uh, this area I like. I do like these tables. I might change the heights of these get rid of them and then kind of bring them down just a smidgen because they look too tall for the room they look like they're going to scrape the ceiling um this is set to automatically hold open but doesn't do it because of reasons kitchen looks good the shelving looks good we got science we got the fridge we got the table we got a grill i didn't put anything on the countertop because Although I've been looking at like uh, Kaya Sebastian's stuff, I, I have no clue how she made half that things with the uh, microwave and whatnot. <laughs> so yeah, so we got that. Plenty of counter space. All right, we look into the living room. We got some signs up here. Big monster couch, giant TV. Uh, my main chair for my sunroom to look out. Uh, we have my desks, my painting. Uh, yeah, washer and dryer, little workshop area. Um, okay. We have the outdoor area, kiss the cook. We have a grill. All right, I changed up the color scheme on these a little bit so they're more accurate. Uh, we have the bar section over here, which is looking really good. I didn't come up with a name for the bar. So if you guys think of a cool name for the bar, we might be able to put it up there. So let me know, like Chaos's Bar or, or uh, Drink and Build or whatever, or, you know, that kind of stuff. Let me know. And then we got this over here. Everything is still the same from before. And then we can make our way back upstairs. Oh, nothing in this room. I don't know why. And then, of course, the bathroom is still the same. I didn't end up doing that because I didn't know what to do. So I left it. And then we get into the master bedroom. We have my little desk over here. That's beautiful. And then we have the master bedroom. Big widescreen TV with surround sound. Uh, nice little cabinet over here for all my wonderful, like, you know, getting ready and dressed for work. Beautiful bed. Be able to sleep out and look into the distance. So amazing. Construct, automate, explore, and exploit. And if I need to use the restroom, ooh, this came out good. We have the sink that might be a little too low. We have the golden toilet. <laughs> uh, good old shower area. I use these as slats. It's kind of like you just kind of pull it over. 
Uh, yeah. And then we have this over here. And we can take a nice little dip. Uh, get up to the edge and be like, yeah, what's going on? <laughs> okay, they get some mood lighting in here and everything. And I think it came out really well. I didn't have any idea of what to put up here. Maybe some tables later on. Once I get more items, then I can actually build other things. Because, like, all this stuff in my inventory, I can drop in certain places and it'll make it look good. But that's going to be it for this episode. I appreciate everybody coming to see the video. That's awesome. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And when I get back, I will start building the mid-tier base. Should be a blast. All right. You all have a wonderful day. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Come on. Bye. Playing. There we go. That was anticlimactic. <laughs>